A number of GPS stations continuously record ground movements in the park, and that ongoing data shows that the ground can move up and down several centimeters, almost an inch, each year. While Yellowstone's landscape is unique in many ways, this is not one of them. This seasonal cycle is common in the northern Rockies and surrounding areas. Ground movements are caused by various processes in different regions, sometimes even caused by humans. Tectonic plate movements, earthquakes, and volcanic activity are some of the processes used to measure GPS stations. However, the water cycle on Earth is also a significant cause of land deformation due to large amounts of water moving over time. Despite inspiring the phrase, rock solid, rock actually behaves elastically. You just need a lot of power and very precise measurements to see it. Just as you put pressure on rubber and see it spring back when you stop pushing it, seasonal changes in water masses in the landscape can temporarily push down on the underlying bedrock. Therefore, GPS stations can also be used to monitor groundwater decline due to drought or excessive use by humans based on the resulting land movement. On shorter time scales, seasonal rainfall and weather patterns also cause varying loads on the landscape causing the surface to move slightly up and down. Most GPS stations in the Yellowstone region record downward movement during the winter and upward movement from about June to October. The same pattern can be seen in the northern Rockies. As snowpack accumulates during the winter, the water mass in this region increases. In spring, Melted snow infiltrates the ground or drips directly into rivers, feeding the river systems that carry it away. The additional weight of the snowpack presses down on the ground surface. The loss of that load as the snow melts allows the ground surface to rise again. GPS measurements near the shores of Yellowstone Lake appear to deviate slightly from this pattern. As Yellowstone Lake swells with water from snowmelt through June, mass loads here continue to grow even as the surrounding area shrinks. This further compresses the land beneath the lake, a miniature version of the regional snowpack response. However, as the lake level begins to fall, nearby GPS stations also begin to rise like the rest of the park. Although we can learn a lot about the water cycle and the elastic properties of rocks from studying these seasonal movements, the main goal in Yellowstone is to monitor the activity of hydrothermal and volcanic systems. A simple way to do this is to use data spanning several years and averaging over seasonal cycles to see long-term trends. This is one reason why long-term, continuous GPS records are a valuable part of Yellowstone's monitoring system. Seasonal movements can also be subtracted based on snowpack measurements, movements of other stations in the region, and other information to reveal more subtle changes. In California, for example, research in the Sierra Nevada mountains must account for snowpack, drought, and groundwater use to isolate small tectonic movements occurring in the background. 